All right, that all men live in the shadow of their fathers is a common belief. U.S. President Barack Obama was estranged from his Kenyan father, Barack Obama Sr. In his book, Dreams from My Father, the man who is now the U.S. President narrates a story of growing up without a father figure and of his few encounters with his old man. KTN's Sharon Mamani now takes a closer look at Barack Obama's senior life and how his son, the world's most powerful man, may just be living his father's dreams. First published in 1995, Dreams from My Father paints the struggle U.S. President Barack Obama went through finding himself, understanding his identity, and connecting with his roots. In the biography, Obama details his metaphorical search for his Kenyan father, Barack Hussein Obama the Senior. Born on 18th June 1936, Obama Senior was a senior government economist. In 1959, he received a scholarship to study economics at the University of Hawaii. It is at the university one year later that he met his second wife, Stanley Ann Dunham, with whom he sired a son, Barack Obama II. A year later, Obama Sr. headed to Harvard University for a graduate fellowship in economics, leaving his young family behind. Barack Jr. would only see his father ten years later. I never really knew my own father. I was raised by a single mom and two wonderful grandparents who made incredible sacrifices for me. But I still wish I had a dad who was not only around but involved. Another role model to teach me what my mom did her best in still. That's why I try every day to be for Michelle and my girls what my father was not for my mother and me. Obama Sr. returned to Kenya in 1964, later serving as an economist in the Kenyan Ministry of Transport. He later was promoted to senior economist in the Kenyan Ministry of Finance. In 1965, he published a paper titled Problems Facing Our Socialism, harshly criticizing the blueprint for national planning. In the footsteps of his father, Barack Obama II gave the economic sector serious attention. In his first two years in office, Obama signed into law economic stimulus legislation in response to the Great Recession in the form of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 and the Tax Relief, Unemployment, Insurance Reauthorization and Job Creation Act of 2010. According to Barack II's memoir, Obama's continuing conflict with Kenyan President Jomo Kenyatta destroyed his career. He was allegedly fired and blacklisted in Kenya, finding it nearly impossible to get a job. During his 2009 trip to Ghana, Obama said, and I quote, In my father's life, it was partly tribalism and patronage and nepotism in an independent Kenya that for a long stretch derailed my father's career, end of quote. Biographer Sally H. Jacobs in her book, The Other Barack, The Bold and Reckless Life of President Obama's Father, writes that at the University of Hawaii, Obama Sr. stood out for his public speaking and his dancing skills, what he can be said to share with Obama II. Sally also writes that the senior Obama was an alcoholic. This is Kaloleni area in Nairobi, Kenya. At this very bar is where the senior Barack would often have his drink. So Barack Obama actually was here. So his group and his caliber were here. And he used to come, he socializes the drinks with them. He goes, he comes, he socializes the drinks with them. He goes. Hours before he died in a tragic road accident, he had his favorite drink at this bar. The man used to like drinking whiskey. Both passionate intellectuals, both having attended Harvard schools, and both engaged in public service, Barack Obama Sr. and Barack Obama II clearly share more than just names. In Dreams from My Father, Obama II writes, and I quote, I realized how even in his absence, his strong image had given me some bulwark with which to grow up, an image to live up to or to disappoint, end of quote. Well, growing up to be the first black president of the United States, the most powerful man in the world, Barack Obama II may have well surpassed his father's dreams. Shalmomani, KTN News.